and indeed on smart speaker and app. Don't forget, you can download the new POS Radio app right now uh, on Google and Apple. When you do that, make sure you do send a screenshot to us via our website, POSradio.com, because you could win £500. Yes, lovely bit of uh, dollars for the summer spends if you're going away uh, a couple of quid in your back pocket to spend uh, with the kids during summer so uh, make sure uh, you do uh, get involved with that online at purewestradio.com right it's now time for the first of our pembrokeshire county show updates as we are in august i can't believe it, it it's quite scary actually that it is the second of august today but the big countdown is on to this year's pembrokeshire county show and i'm now speaking to the director of uh, the uh, the board, uh, very important role this one. Uh, Delmi Harris is uh, with me here this afternoon. Um, Delmi, great to have you on the show. How are you doing? I'm very well, thank you. Thank you. Top man. So your official title, Director of the Board of Management. So tell us, what, what does that mean, Delmi? Well, the, the board is is a group of volunteers. There's about there's eight of us who are running the the uh, charity as such and the business of the Russian Agriculture Society. Um, and all volunteers and we rely of course on a huge team of volunteers to put on the show i think volunteering is the key thing for the society at the moment since covid we had to uh, lose most of our staff um, we have some uh, admin staff to support the board now but uh, it, it's more around the volunteer role and i tend to look after the membership element of the board and the governance and then we have other ones who look after um, the estates the things on the showground uh, we have mike as the chairman particularly looking after finance so there's a few other board members with all different responsibilities picking up on what was previously done by employed staff so busy busy times uh, for you all i mean first up um you know congratulations and well done on um, attempting to put on the show this year because it's it's no easy feat uh, all run by volunteers no more paid backroom staff anymore. Um, no paid people uh, at all driving this this forward where, you know, that used to be a group of people, employees, you know, running this show and organizing the show all year round. So I think, you know, a lot of, a lot of praise must be said to, to, to you and everyone uh, on the board for actually, you know, getting the show off the ground uh, this year, Dalmi. Hats off to you. Thank you. Yeah, it is going to be uh, an interesting period. I mean, we did run the show last year based on the group of volunteers. And of course, um, it was a much smaller scale of show light version last year. And of course, now this year, getting back to normality, lots of it will be changes. You know, people uh, will see a different type of show to what they're used to. Um, yeah. You know, we've made sure that all the um, showing rings are visible this year, you know, without all the marquees blocking them off from, from view so that everybody attending the show see all the livestock and the horses and everything um, doing their bit in the ring, which is very important. It certainly is. I mean, uh, you kindly invited Pure West Radio up to the show last year and it did have that feel about it. It was a lot more focused on the agriculture, on the showing, and, and, it, and it did have a, a real sense of belonging back again. It sort of felt a bit less commercialised. Yeah, and I think that we want to try and keep that. We, you know, lessons learned last year, you know. It, we are going to have all the trade stands. We've got well over 200 trade stands um, already booked and still bookings coming in. Um, we, we've reinstated the, the members there for this year now. So our membership um, is coming in, is increasing. So members can join the society um, rather than before you would join them just to have tickets to go to the members bar at the show. It's more around joining society now, joining charity, and then being able to apply for tickets and being a member gives you access to the uh, members club area, which is the new garden that we've developed and the marquee and the pavilion. And we've also brought in this year, we've got the educational element, an important part of the charity is um, educating people about agriculture. So we've got sort of the, um, the, the launch of our autumn event, which is a cows and tour event, which is going to be hosted at the showground. We'll have the Pembroke um, Junior Farmers area, which zone for younger people attending the show and for the first time we've we're hoping to have a successful craft and food area which is a country market which takes away from the old food hall which was a, a marquee with uh, just the, the, the food producers in it and we've got a country market area this year with about 40 to 50 local stalls 
and hopefully that will, will be a new feature as well as the food court outside the, the food hall. Um, yourselves having a, a prime spot in the middle of the show this year as well, which will be a, a hub for entertainment and, and catering and things. So lots of little changes, but all the old favourites are there, you know, all, all the, the, the livestock and the horse uh, competitions and things, everything is going to be run as much as we can as normal. Yeah, and, and I think that's probably one of the important parts to make, actually. I mean, um, the show map is available for everybody now. You can you can check out uh, the website right now. It's on screen if you're watching it on the socials. It's uh, pemsshow.org. Uh, and, I mean, you know, you've still got all of the equine arenas, uh, the country paddock, uh, the vintage area, show jumping, uh, the J. E. Lawrence livestock area. Uh, and we're delighted, as you say, Dami, to be sort of in the in the heart of all of that, really. And, you know, we're going to be putting on a, a wonderful schedule of, of, of entertainment, We've got live acts, we've got uh, uh, performances, arts, um, we've got loads going on down there. It, it's going to be wonderful, a sort of uh, a real diverse entertainment stage. And we're broadcasting there live every day from 6 a.m. until 7 p.m. So tune in on 87.7 FM to get the latest traffic and travel news. I mean, we're, we're delighted to be back at the show this year and, and really excited to see how you, how it's evolved and how it's changed post-pandemic. I, I've got a really good feeling about it and that people will really enjoy some of these new changes yeah i think this is the key thing is bringing people together is our this year um you know we haven't really got a theme other than the showcasing the best of Pembrokeshire. um but bringing people back people who haven't seen each other for many many years bringing that sort of ethos of being proud to be part of Pembrokeshire agricultural um the the, the agricultural industry Supporting industries in Pembrokeshire and showcasing that is the, is the most important thing, but also giving people an opportunity to meet up and uh, have a chat and uh, catch up, really. And I think that's the important thing. You know, we, we've reduced prices as well this year. You know, our um, admittance charges are, are lower than they were in the 2019 when we had the last full show. Um, we've got better packages uh, for our members as well, you know, to make it a, a little bit accessible. And we've got um, lots of facilities there for uh, less able people as well. You know, we, we've got um, all the facilities available. If anybody is worried about coming, they, they, they have, are less able, then please don't worry. You know, come along, have a look on the website. All the details are there of all the facilities we're providing. And we're hoping to have a good turnout. So we've already started selling tickets online. Um, just a reminder, you know, that they, they go on the website, you can buy your tickets um, before the show. It's best to do that because it'll get you quicker. Um, and we, we're going as much as we can on a, an online ticketing solution rather than printed papers. So trying to look after the environment a little bit. It's also important to us. Yeah, most definitely. And those tickets are now on sale at PEMSHOW. Uh, .org. So please do uh, head on over there. And uh, also we've got a competition running as well right here on Pure West Radio. A chance for you to win two adult and two child tickets. Uh, head on over to the Facebook page for your chance uh, to win. Uh, Dalmi, we are so excited for this year's show. 17th and 18th of August. Save the date. Uh, hopefully you'll be joining us on both days. Uh, it's supporting Pembrokeshire. It shows you're proud of our county. And as you say, Dalmi, ultimately this is about getting people together in the agri community and, and supporting them as well through all of the wonderful work that you do at the Pembrokeshire Agricultural Society. Um, we will we will see you then, and uh, we very much look forward to it. Yep, excellent. Look forward to you there. Thank you ever so much, Dalmi, uh, 